What do you think of when you see this? Boating? Summer? How about land disputes? That last one probably didn't enter your mind. But for many visitors to the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, particularly those on ATVs, potential land closure is exactly what they're thinking about. Currently, the recreation area is in a new scoping period where land managers are seeking public comments regarding motorized access to certain areas and dirt roads around Lake Powell. The entire issue comes down almost exclusively to ATV use. Back in 2005, the National Park Service received information about a lawsuit that was filed against the Park Service by a couple uh, conservation organizations, uh, preliminarily the Blue Water Network and then the uh, National Parks Conservation Association. And that lawsuit basically contended that there were a number of units throughout the National Park System that had failed to comply with the regulations that exist that govern the National Park System units. The lawsuit didn't ask for us to close any specific areas, as I recall. Even so, specific areas are being considered for closure, which has many Glen Canyon recreationists very concerned. A lot of this stuff is based on resource damage that they're claiming that is just not there. They get out on the ground and look at it. Even they will have to admit it's not justified to be driven by resource damage. This is coming from environmental concerns. I do not know what harm there is uh, because what they explained to me, what you see right there is not a road. And to me, it's a road. If I drove in from Nebraska, was camping at the marina and saw some maps and stuff, and I drove out Crosby Canyon, it shows a road going out Crosby Canyon. How do you know when to stop, where to stop, but then why can't you go all the way to the lake and camp at the lake? They did it there, but you can't do it here. Scoping processes have become common in recent decades. Whenever a government agency looks at public lands for changes in resource management, they seek comments from users on how to best utilize the land in question. In the case of Glen Canyon, it isn't just the fear of trail closure that is making the off-road community nervous. The quick timetable and limited window to make comments has many questioning whether multiple use advocates will be able to respond sufficiently. It's a reoccurring problem with federal agencies and their planning processes. They're not very good at getting the word out, and by the time they do, it's a day or a week before the comment deadline. And these are legal deadlines, so a comment submitted after the deadline doesn't count, and you may not even know about it till it's too late. I think what's important here is that we're talking about a national recreation area. It's managed by the National Park Service, but this is not a national park. It's a national recreation area. We should be enhancing recreation, not limiting it. This is important in the day and age where we want our families and our children to enjoy America's public lands. Many who favor closing areas to OHV use cite reckless users as their main reason for limiting access. For men like Brian Hawthorne of Blue Ribbon Coalition, that is an unfair characterization, particularly in Glen Canyon. It's not the young thrill seeker, it's the elderly, uh, retired folks that are viewing their public land sometimes for the first time uh, via the ATV, and it's a fantastic way to enjoy public lands. Those are the folks that are using these roads. Currently, five alternative plans are being considered some that err on the side of limiting access, and some more toward multiple use. While the time is short, managers in Glen Canyon have been trying to get the word out in public meetings and encourage any and all comments, no matter what side of the issue you favor. To voice your concerns regarding the Glen Canyon plans or protect access to your favorite area, go to parkplanning at nps.org. You can also send a letter through the mail. The deadline for all comments is November 23rd, 2010. We are interested in all comments and we look at them regardless of the avenue they come in. So whether they're written or online or one that folks talk to us during one of the public scoping meetings, um, we take all those comments and we will incorporate them. It's pretty easy to make a comment on many of these travel plans and it's essential to keeping your access to your public lands.
they better take a look at what is going on and realize what they are going to lose by thinking that someone else is going to take care of it for them, because they're not. It's not an easy balance, uh, but we're going to strive very hard and we got enough good comments that we think we can do that. So, From the trailhead, I'm Bob Hendricks.